Hello friends, this is Don, and I am the Appalachian Rambler. Today I'm in Elizabethan, Tennessee at their iconic covered bridge. Covered bridge was built in 1882. It spans 134 feet across the Doe River. Looks like we have a little unanticipated action down here. Looks like these gentlemen with the city are attempting to retrieve this log from the river. Really appreciate the way, uh, the, way the city keeps this, this beautiful river so clean. I'm sure it's far, far more work to keeping this river clean than we can anticipate. Let's take a walk on over and uh, take a look at that bridge a little bit closer. Beautiful day here. Not a cloud in the sky. But it's a cold one today. Mother Nature came back and reminded us that winter is not over yet so for those people that thought they need to be planting flowers and vegetables well <laughs> the reality has set in over on the right there's some uh, beautiful homes in the historic section of Elizabeth. Typical government job, one working and four watching. <laughs> I should have said that. That's a. I'm sure all those gentlemen have an important reason for being here. That is beautiful, though. Those falls. Beautiful homes. Probably a lot of history to be found just in the learning more about these homes. Closer to the bridge. Let's go up here and read the plaque. I'm big on reading historical plaques. This bridge over Doe River was built early in 1882. It cost the county $3,000 for the bridge and $300 for approaches. The site was chosen by J.J. McCorkle, Wiley Christian, and H.M. Renfro. The committee were Thomas C. Madsen, Engineer W.M. Folsom, J.C. Smith, Dr. James M. Cameron, and J.M. Simmerly. Dr. E. Hunter was contractor and George Lynn and Mood supervisor. <laughs> so a doctor was the contractor. Okay, let's take a look. Let's go down the little bridge. I'm old enough to remember when uh, cars were allowed to uh, Across this bridge. It's been many years since that's been allowed. Now it's just a pedestrian bridge for biking. And if you look, can you see down through here? You can see the you can see the water rushing by down the Doe River. Look at the size of these old beams. It's holding this bridge up marble in itself some screening overhead 
I assume that's probably to keep the birds out. I saw an old picture of this bridge. Not sure what year it was from. But originally these windows were not in this bridge when it was built. Well, they're not actually windows, they're just openings cut. I guess at some point in time they decided they need a little bit of light in here. But a great place up here to walk. Take your bike. One of the least glamorous places of Carter County, Carter County Detention Center, straight ahead. Got a few ducks here. It's a good place for watching the ducks. Usually there's more ducks out than there is today. Here they are roosting on the wall. Okay. Go there over this way. We have a man down there doing some fishing. Worth the fishing's pretty good in this river. Guys look like they're still over trying to get that log out. Nice little outdoor, uh, what do you call it, amphitheater or not. They have live entertainment here on the weekends and evenings. Nice little spot to come picnic. Uh, Elizabeth also has a Kevin Bridge Festival every September. Uh, they have crafts and fireworks and inflatable games for the kids. And, uh, streets are lined with vendors. It's a, it's a pretty little festival to come out to. I've pondered these three flags before up here. Of course, obviously, one's the United States flag. The other one's the state of Tennessee flag. But I am not sure what that other flag is. Can we make that out? History, culture, industry, progress. 17, is that 89? 69, is that? I won't have to look that up. 1769. If anybody knows about that, please comment below. Because I've studied a lot of history of this area, and the year 1769 does not hit upon me. The only thing I can think of was. The Watauga Association was formed in 1772. Carter County was definitely not formed in this year. I do not know what that is. Where's that 1789? I don't know. I'm going to find out about that. Got a little fountain here. Looks like it's frozen over. It got pretty cold here last night. It got down about 20, about 20 degrees. And that's a little bit, that's a little bit cold here for uh, this time of year. Of course, I can remember back in 1993, probably about the biggest snowfall we've ever had 
here. We had like almost two foot of snow. Okay. Here's Weir Dam, Taylor Park. This sign needs to be uh, read in. It's getting hard to read. Okay, here we are. This is interesting. This explains the these dams. Over where these fellows were trying to get that log out, that is a weir dam. This dam was built to provide a constant supply of fresh water to this historic mill right that's left of the grist mill formerly at this site. The oxygen that mixes with the water as it falls over the dam is beneficial for the fish downstream. Okay. One and two, which two, I believe, would be these formations right here. It says, look for the V-shaped vortex weirs below the dam. These rock structures direct the faster flowing water through the middle of the channel away from the banks, protecting the Elk Avenue Bridge. An added benefit of the vortex weirs is the fish habitat they create. The protected pools are a favorite resting spot for fish on hot summer days. Huh. Oh, fish ladder. A weir dam creates a barrier that prevents fish from swimming upstream. The fish ladder was added to the dam to allow fish to swim beyond this impasse. Notice the series of shallow pools designed like stair steps. The fish are able to swim up through the notches in the sides of the pools. Okay. So that is this. Dang, learn something all the time. But somehow the fish are supposed to be able to swim upstream. Going through this looks like a concrete trough. Well, now that's pretty neat. I never knew that. These guys are still wrestling with that log. Okay. We're going to cross the bridge. Go back over to the other side. Learn something new every day. While I walk back over here, I want to uh, share with all of you, I have a rather, uh, what I deem an exciting project I'm working on uh, for a series of uh, videos. It's about uh, one of the most horrendous mass murders to ever occur, certainly in Carter County, uh, maybe the state. It occurred over 80 years ago. It involved some innocent children. Uh, people in this area still talk about it today, but it was. Uh, uh, it was a case that brought national attention. And that was back in the days before we had CNN and Fox, cable news networks. But I want to uh, I want to share with you that it's a project I'm very excited about. It's a little bit different than uh, uh, the videos I've been doing. Uh, it's a little edgier. Uh, it's uh, it really tells a sad story, and uh, but I ask that you uh, I ask that you subscribe to uh, my channel so you won't miss it. I'm 
I'm really, uh, I really think you'll want to see this series because I'm, uh, I'm really excited about putting it together. Walk under the bridge. Got some lights up here. This not, you know, it's always a little creepy. You're supposed to walk under a bridge. It's supposed to be a. Beautiful little park down here. Well, I tell you, I'm about to, I'm about to be over to him. I'm, I'm smelling this barbecue restaurant next door over here. Be dance barbecue. But let me tell you, it is fabulous. It is fabulous. If you're ever in Elizabeth and you've never been to Big Dan's, drop in. You will not be sorry. Outstanding barbecue. Now here, I guess this is another one of the weird dams. Beautiful. It is beautiful. Nice little walk down the river here. Well, the deck on that house over there sure is hanging out pretty close to that river. That made me a little nervous. It's nice though. Apparently that must be an attorney's office. Jason H. Arthur Esquire. Esquire is normally a term associated with an attorney. I saw picnic to be. I believe I'm gonna take a little take a little shortcut across through here for sake of brevity. This is a nice little park right here in uh, right here in the middle of downtown Elizabeth. There's a little plaque up here I want to uh, want to share with you. Dietrich Funeral Home. Back side of that barbecue place is just killing me. You can see the smoke rolling out, rolling out of their smoker. Okay, let's go over here and look at the history of the mill rice. Mill rice is a current of water. Turns a water wheel or channel conducting water to or from a water wheel. Shown above is a mill race of the Doe River. This body of water was diverted from a broader stream by building a weir dam. Concentrated flow from the dam creates a narrow current. The mill race is swift and powerful enough to turn the water wheel, drives an electric generator or other equipment like sawmills. The mill race wheels could produce electricity needed to power. The Lion and Twine Factory, Linwood Hotel, and a few prominent private homes that want to stay on the banks of the Doe River. 
thanks to the hydro hydroelectric advances elizabeth was once known as the city of power built in 1912 the horseshoe dam now known as wilbur dam was one of the first hydroelectric power plants in the state of tennessee allowing power lines to run from elizabeth into bristol tennessee quite interesting here i don't know who you can see is there's a type of sign up here that says the city of power that reminds me a lot of that sign that straddles State Street in Bristol. It says Bristol, Tennessee, Virginia, a good place to live. Boy, I'd love to know whatever happened to that old sign right there. Probably ended up somewhere in a scrapyard somewhere melted down, but man, wouldn't that be something to have right now? Okay, folks, I'm going to close out the video today. As I said, I'm working on a uh, I'm working on a video project uh, about a that I'm very excited about about a uh, notorious mass murder that occurred in this county over 80 years ago. It's it's very very fascinating, and I hope to be able to get my video series together and share that with you because I know I know you'll find it very interesting. So please like share and subscribe to my channel so you do not miss this upcoming series thank you for joining me today and i'll see y'all down the road